Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Devil's Advocate and this movie came out in 1997 and it stars Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino and this movie is pretty terrible <laughs> and I have never seen anything about this movie and going in I knew absolutely nothing and to be honest, despite what I just said, this movie is pretty terrible it was very funny, and I'm glad that I watched it. <laughs> and by that, I mean unintentionally funny. To start off, I'm just going to get this out of the way. The performances in this movie are really bad. Keanu Reeves is pretty bad. He's like, I, I just don't buy him as his character. And uh, Al Pacino is no better in this movie. He goes in the complete opposite direction he did in... Movies like the first two Godfather movies, and it was just amazing to watch him play a character so over the top, and he just goes all out, but it doesn't work. And it just makes the movie really cheesy, and I was surprised how much I was entertained by this movie. It was really stupid, the characters are awful, they're really unlikable and honestly our main character Kevin played by Keanu Reeves he's really bad he just does not care about anyone in this movie and he's just so focused on winning in court and that's his only motivation and that's all he does he's pretty much a block of wood and he has one goal he tries to do it as best as he can he doesn't really care about his wife really Marianne and that's his character there's nothing interesting about him and Al Pacino he's no different really he's not really that interesting until the last 30 minutes of the movie because then you learn a whole lot about him and it is hysterical <laughs> and those last 30 minutes made the movie for me they were so funny they were delivered what I wanted after a while because for a little bit I was getting kind of impatient like this is kind of bad I, I don't really want to watch it anymore but I decided to keep going because you know I wanted to finish it and this is just one of those movies where the more it goes along the worse it gets and I also want to talk about the effects in the movie they're really cheesy dated and they just don't hold up. And Jurassic Park's effects look better than this movie's effects. So that's all I really need to say. In terms of positives for this movie, this movie doesn't really have any. I can't think of anything I liked. The only parts that I enjoyed were just the really funny parts. When it wasn't even trying to be funny. And I can't even think of one thing that was competent about the movie. Except maybe... How it was shot. It wasn't the most annoying thing in the world. It was just stationary. The music was forgettable. I don't even remember it at all. I want to talk about Keanu Reeves' character's wife, Marianne. What she goes through in this movie is just so funny. And as the movie goes along, it just gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> and th th there is a scene in this movie where... She's like hallucinating and <laughs> she's like you're dreaming all of this and uh, she, she sees a baby and it has like, it's like playing with guts and uh, she's supposed to be horrified of this and that entire time I was laughing hysterically <laughs> because it was just so stupid and eventually her character gets even more crazy and eventually she's uh, put into a mental institution. <laughs> Because Keanu Reeves just puts her there because he thinks that's best for her. Because later on in the movie, Al Pacino's character supposedly raped her. And she's in a church wearing nothing but a blanket. And she has like all these scratches on her body and she's bleeding. <laughs> and when that was revealed that she was naked and she had all these scratches, I laughed so hard. <laughs> because if... What was going through my mind was, I don't understand how you got from the apartment you were living in to a church with just a blanket on without no one making a comment. Because 
when Keanu Reeves is looking for Marianne. He's like, where is she? Where, where's Marianne? I can't find her. And she's down at the church or whatever. And the guy decided just not to mention that she was just wearing a blanket or something. I don't know. It's just the concept of wearing nothing but a blanket to a church. And for that big reveal that she had like all these scratches on her. Something about that is just really funny to me. And I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but it, it, the way it was presented was just insane. <laughs> and also, the entire story of the film doesn't make sense, and the movie doesn't reveal anything about what's going on until the last 30 minutes, where all of the exposition is told to our main character. And before that, you're just uh, wondering, okay, uh, this happened, that happened, maybe this is building to something, and... Once you get what everything was building up to, nothing makes any sense. There's just, there's all this crap and just, you didn't need to do this, you didn't need to do that. Why did you do all the, these things? I have no idea. I will never know. One other thing that I kind of want to mention, it's like a tiny thing, just for anyone who wants to know. Uh, this uh, three pack, it came with uh, the unrated director's cut. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, right there. So, in case anyone's wondering which version I watched, that's the version that I watched. Not that it really matters. And that's about all I have to say about Devil's Advocate. It's terrible. There's nothing good about it, really. <laughs> it's a complete failure, and it's really funny. I was laughing a lot, and... I would recommend it as a So Bad It's Good movie. I feel pretty comfortable about that. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Devil's Advocate a 1 out of 10. But this is not a movie that is like I regret uh, having or owning. I will watch this movie again because it was very funny. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Devil's Advocate and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up. And I, I didn't really put much thought into this, and I am decided, you know what, 7's right here, so I might as well review it, so... David Fincher 7, that's going to be my next video, so look forward to that. But until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.